All right, so hey guys, um, this is going to be the last video of my tutorial series. And um, yeah, so all we're going to do now, we're going to do cleaning up and then we're going to do some test cases um, because I made a few typo errors and also I missed off one method as well. So I've kind of gone through this already as well. But if there's any other issues that appear, then we're going to go through that together. Okay, so first things first, we're in data objects. The first issue that I noticed is that um, here, Attack targets, I wrote def as if it's a function, but it should be a class. So class. So that's data objects um, fixed. Next was in the controller, I had two more issues in lines 14 and 15 and 18. So here, the um, save dest destination is written as save destination. So I spell it wrong. So I'm just going to rename those. So if you highlight it and then control D, you can select both occurrences. And then we can just change that to destination. Okay. As you can see here, um, this parameter is targets. So that's going to go on to our uh, next well, um, issue after this one. So if we go to 75, line 75, the path I've written is target.file type, but it should be target.file underscore path. So we need to rectify that in line 75 of controller. So then next is the views, which is our last issue. So in line 165, um, this should be targets. And I also forgot to enter the method um, set current target. Okay, so def set underscore current underscore target. And it's gonna be self and basically the target. Okay, and then how to do this is um, it's going to be self dot label underscore current target. The text for that um, widget is going to be equal to well, the target. Yeah, I guess just to lack of confusion, just to make it more um, recognizable and unique, we can just call it current underscore target. Just call it current underscore target. Okay, perfect. So that should be more or less our code done for this project. If any other issues occur, if I've missed anything, then we'll go through that. Okay, so now first thing you need to do, well, um, let's see, is um, you, we're going to download the password list. So the first thing you might need is Notepad++ because opening the password list in um, Notepad is very slow and it can cause it to freeze up because this password list we're going to use is very large. So you might want to download Notepad++. Now, for the password list, if you just search RockU in Google, whatever search engine you have, you'll get the password list here. So there's one in GitHub and there's one in Kaggle. So I downloaded the Kaggle one. But the GitHub one's probably easier for you to download. So as you can see, as this user mentions, um, it was a famous hack that happened in 2009. And these are actual passwords that people have used. And there's 14 million of them. Okay, so you can download those, those passwords from there. The other thing you need to download is uh, WinRAR so that we can encrypt our files. So just search WinRAR and then here from RAR Lab, you can just download WinRAR accordingly. Cool, so once you've done that, we can create our test files. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So let's go to PyCharm, right click on our folder, Wordsmith. And then what we're gonna do is going to go to Show in Explorer and we're going to create out our test file. So we're going to open Wordsmith. We're going to right click. We're going to add a new folder and we're going to call this folder test cases, test cases. Okay. And then what we're going to do in here is we're going to create four um, text documents. Okay. I'm just going to give them all names. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then what we're going to do, I'm oh, sorry, we should have created another folder. I'm just going to call it subfolder. And we're going to put all these documents inside this subfolder. And we're just going to put one random text document outside here. Let's just call this random. So basically, because um, text documents are not in our supported list for our dictionary attack, remember it's only .zip and .raw files, this should be ignored. OK, now with these ones, we're going to begin to encrypt them. So we're going to rename them. So we're going to rename some of them. So this is going to be zip underscore encrypt. 
This is going to be called zip underscore unencrypt. So remember our program, if it's working correctly, it should ignore this file. So it should attempt to open it and then it should ignore it. And then it should attempt to crack this one. Then we're going to rename this raw underscore encrypt. And then we're going to name this one raw underscore unencrypt. Raw underscore unencrypt. Okay, cool, and then we're going to begin to encrypt them. So if you've downloaded WinRAR, what you're going to do, you're going to right click on the file, click on add to archive, and then you're going to um, go to zip for this one, and you're just going to click on OK. Okay, so that one's done, and you can just delete the file. Then for this one, we're going to encrypt it with a password. So click on add to archive, zip, set password. We're going to use zip legacy encryption. And we're going to call this one happiness. happiness. OK. And then click on OK to set the password. And we're going to check if it's um, encrypted after. So we're going to delete that. So now this one's raw, a raw file, add to archive. We are um, going to leave it as raw. We're just going to click on OK. So that's unencrypted. And then we're going to do the same for this one. So add to archive. And then we're going to go to set password, encrypt file names, and we're just going to call this password um, flowers. This is pretty much our test cases built out. Okay, so now um, one thing to note with raw files, if you get an issue called bad raw, like a bad raw file error, and it's going to raise to the terminal, if that's the case, two things to check. One is, I've done a previous video anyway on this, um, so you can just follow that, follow the steps of that video on how to make um, Python be able to um, encrypt raw, unencrypt raw files and extract from them. Now, the other one is just to check, double check your environment variables and just make sure that PyCharm is inside it. So like a PyCharm Community Edition. And if it isn't, then you can just click on um, new or new and then add it here accordingly. Okay, but it should be it should be in there anyway. But that's just another backup thing to check. Okay, cool. So we've got a soft folder, access cases, and random. So that should pretty much be everything we need. And one more thing to note with um, just raw file is on raw, the library that we imported here. Yeah, so let's go back up to it. This library is that it has issues um, with Latin characters. And the um, file, the password file that we're using, it has a lot of, um, it, it uses um, Latin characters a lot. So if it reaches a Latin character, this, the program might break. So it's just to be aware of that. And you can either use like a different password file or just change anything to Latin characters to like their English counterpart if they have one or just remove it entirely. Um, so yeah, I'm not actually sure how to get around that. But um, another thing I was going to show, yeah, I was just going to show you this. So I'm not going to open it normally because, sorry, I'm not going to open it normally because it's going to freeze. So I'm going to right click and then edit with notepad. And this is the password list we're using. So as you can see, these are all the passwords. And then you can check to see if your password's on it. And remember there's 14 million there. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to run our file. Okay, so it works. We're going to browse to get a dictionary list. So I have mine stored here, rock you. As you can see, it's like 136,000 KB, so 136 megabytes, I believe. And then I'm going to choose a location to extract it to. And we're going to use the PyCharm location, where I am. You can do it anywhere you want, like your desktop or somewhere. So C drive users, Ulna for me, and then PyCharm product projects. And then inside Wordsmith, we're just going to, I'm going to create a new folder called extract here. Remember, if there's any issues that occur, uh, we're going to go through them together. So select folder, extract here, and then we're going to do include subfolders and add a folder. So we go back to Wordsmith. Um, we're going to right click on test cases. And that's going to literally do, well, what this should do is it should check all the folders and all the files within those subfolders for this path. Okay, and we're also just going to test, test the um, add a file as well just to make sure we've got all of our grounds covered. Okay, so then we go to PyCharm project, projects. 
test cases. I'm going to just do the random one. Okay, that should be everything. Now let's launch our attack and see. Perfect. Okay, so, so far so good. As you can see, our current target is raw underscore encrypt dot raw. And raw files are slow. So when it gets to zip, it should speed up. Okay, so it's broke. Here, no, it's worked. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. So it's worked accordingly. So as you can see, password was found. Flowers, the file was extracted to extract here, like where we um, extracted it to the folder. And the password will be saved there. Then yeah, the found passwords are stored to this location inside extract here. It then it's telling us it's targeting the other file. So raw underscore encrypt dot raw. It's going to ignore it and then target in the file, um, the zip file. It's password protected and then it's going to attempt to crack it. Okay. And password found. Okay, and then yeah, the zip file is not password protected. Okay, and then what we should do is if we go to our dictionary attack, no, sorry, not here. If we go to that uh, location we had in PyCharm. So if we right click here and then check show in Explorer, and Wordsmith, extract here, we should have the list of extracted passwords. Okay. So now this is something I'm not entirely sure why, why it happens with the um, zip files at times. So what will happen is, I believe it's something to do with the conversion we're doing in bytes, but it will find a completely different password from the one we're looking for. So if you remember, we set it to happiness and it's pretty much put the passwords one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine zero and i'm not exactly sure why that's the case and this happened before but the time i've done this already um it pretty much picked up the password so i'm not entirely sure on that um but in the end this this um, password cracker works and because it's managed to encrypt the file i mean unencrypt the file and also um if we just go back to that Show an explorer, extract here. It's also managed to extract the two files um, from that folder. So it has worked, um, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure. And if I do, I'll, if I do figure that out, um, I'll put that in the comment section, but I'm not sure why that happens here and there. So yeah, if any of you do have the answer before I realize how, then please do it. But that is pretty much our password cracking software in Tkinter. So yeah, guys, that's all for now. And take care.